All right, we're looking at big madrasa crackdown in Assam. Bulldozers raising down the Bongaigao madrasa, bulldozer model used against extremist elements in Assam's madrasa. A madrasa teacher allegedly arrested for jihadi activity that he conducted within the madrasa premises. The madrasa hostel where many stayed has been evacuated. People have been moved out from there and already we're looking at portions of the madrasa wall being brought down. Eight bulldozers take down disputed portions. Eviction drive triggers tensions in Assam. Madrasa's alleged link to Bangladeshi radicals. In fact, the government claim that it could be a Bangladeshi link. Radical extremists carrying out activity there linked to Bangladeshis. In an effort to weed out extremism, says the Assam government, a massive eviction drive currently underway at the Kabaitari Markazul Arif Haryana Madrasa in Bongaigao's Jogi Ghopa. Now, after receiving the eviction notice from the Bongaigao District Administration, Madrasa authorities have been carrying out the eviction drive since late last night with the help of local people. The eviction drive has been carried out following the arrest of that teacher, Mufti Hafizur Rahman, a teacher in the Madrasa who allegedly carried out extremist activities, jihadi activities, from the premises of that religious institution. Let me quickly cut across to uh, Assam Minister joining us on the phone line, Pijush Hazarika. Mr. Hazarika, we're looking at bulldozers, at least seven of them working in full swing, bringing down the walls of a madrasa where your government says there's been a teacher allegedly carrying out radical activities, jihadi activities from inside the premises. Now, uh, give us an understanding on why are you demolishing the walls of the madrasa? See, uh, we are not demolishing madrasas. We are, we are demolishing madrasas run by jihadis. We can't allow our land for, uh, for to uh, do such, such, kind, such kind of jihadi activities. Jihadis are against nationalism. Jihadis are, uh, jihadis are fed uh, for the sovereignty of the country. So we can't allow jihadis to run such kind of activities in our land. So Assam government is not against any madrasas. We are against Seriously against, seriously, strongly against the jihadis and run there and madrasas run by jihadis. We demolish. Since they run by jihadis, how did you find out yes. about this man carrying no, out these activities? We have, we have, lot, of, we have lot, of, a lot of proof. We have sufficient proof against them. Mm -hmm. Lot of proofs. They have a lot of proof against them. Then only we do such kind of demolish activities. Mm. Otherwise, we don't do. Lot of madrasas in Assam. We haven't done anything against. Uh, against, against, the, against them. No, we we, we are, got your I, point. I, Mr. Azarika, just yeah. to ask you, uh, was, was he the only teacher running jihadi activity according to you with that institution or in, many in other last, teachers? In, in last couple of days, in last couple of days, you know that a lot of uh, jihadi activities we have uh, find out, we have uh, a lot of proof are coming, so we are doing, we are, we are taking action against all, against all. So again, I, I would say, I can say, Assam government is doing against all, only against those madrasas run by jihadis. So, so are you? Do you have? Do you have more madrasas under the scanner at this point? Do you have more madrasas under the scanner? And where yes, children? Lot of, lot of where children living in that madrasa of, when you ev evacuated the place, that particular madrasa where we see bulldozers uh, demolishing those walls, where children living and residing at those madrasas? We are serious on uh, about the children also. Mm -hmm. What we are doing, we are we are evacuating them. We are transferring them to nearest madrasa. It's not that we have closed their uh, studies. We are serious on that also. But we can't allow jihadis activities in our land. We are very serious on that. Of course, sir, no, nobody yes. wants to allow jihadi activity at anywhere around yes. our vicinity. And it's a That's great crackdown I mean. if you I mean. have indeed found the man carrying out jihadi activity. Uh, certainly, you must act on it. But you've arrested him. Uh, did it call for a demolition of the entire building? Yes, see, what, uh, this is our policy. Those hmm. uh, madrasas running jihadi activities will demolish. The first thing is jihadi activities. First thing is jihadi. Those who are running madrasas in the name of jihad, we can't allow them. 
So do you have many more madrasas in your scanner? You're saying jihadis are many running more, madrasas, many, madrasas, many of them? Are in scanner. Many more ma madrasas are in scanner. Okay. Many more people are in scanner. And will all of those madrasas yes, face a similar yes. demolition drive with with your bulldozers? What? What? With all those? Oh, pardon, pardon. Will all those yes, madrasas will also, under scanner will also, face similar will demolition drive? In, in future also, it will still be continued. All right. So you have you have a bunch of the madrasas in your list right now yes, that, yes, that you're going have, to crack down on. Yes, we have. Sir, can you tell us a little bit about the, what kind of jihadi activity was happening inside? See, I can't say I can't say in public that, but but we have serious and sufficient proof against them. Otherwise, we wouldn't have done this. We are not being against all. Lot of madrasas. And I am again saying, lot of madrasas there in Assam. We are not doing against all. We are doing against certain madrasas. So, uh, so, so but that, would, you, would you be able to establish and, what kind of jihadi activity? When did you they suspect? Have with, they have linked with. They have linked with uh, terror groups from Bangladesh. They have terror linked with Al Qaeda and this kind of module. They have. So without serious proof, without sufficient proof, we haven't done anything. We haven't. We have done with serious proof only. So. Would you also say confidently that the teacher was possibly training some of the children there to carry yeah, out jihadi basically activities? They are basically, they are radicalizing. Basically, hmm. they are radicalizing. Serious proof we have. Hmm. And basically, they are trying to get into uh, people, get, in, get people into their jihadi module. Hmm. So we can allow them to uh, do that kind of activity. Sir, uh, we really are uh, keen on knowing if there has been any kind of uh, ammunition, any kind of arms, any kind of explosives that may have been uh, found, I any religious now, scriptures. I can't say now. That, that is going on. Search is going on. An operation is going on. I can't say now. But again, I can say serious proof we have against uh, people from that these madrasas. So the people of Assam right now, we believe, are quite tensed owing to this kind of demolition drive. Many of them are worried of any kind of communal tension. No, nothing Would to you be want worried. To Those who are not fears? involved in their activities, they should not be worried. Hmm. We are not against anybody particularly. Individually, we are not against anybody. Hmm. We are against particular. We are against extreme seriously to jihadis only. Hmm. So people should not, should not be worried. We are not against any community. We are not against any religion. Mm. We are against jihadis. So that's all. All right. Uh, Pijush Hazarika, thank you very much. Appreciate your time for joining us on that. Let me quickly cut across to India today's Afrida Hussain, who's live joining us from Guwahati. Afrida, we're seeing close to seven bulldozers knocking down that building, uh, which the minister claims has been a hub for all kind of jihadi activity. Um, a madrasa teacher there was allegedly uh, linked to some a radical Islamists from Bangladesh. They were carrying out some kind of activity, a jihadi activity, but I tried to ask him what kind of jihadi activity. Uh, he did not divulge those details. Would you uh, want to tell us what kind of jihadi activity was being run inside where children radicalized by that teacher? Afiza. I'm going to try and patch a line there. Afrida is our uh, correspondent there in Guwahati. Assam, we're looking at a crackdown by the BJP government on madrasas where they suspect jihadi activity taking place. One such madrasa that we see in Bangaigao, Assam. Seven bulldozers right now working in full swing, bringing down the walls of that madrasa that has stood for many years. In fact, uh, some children were living at that madrasa when the government cracked down late last night, evacuated those children, moved them to another spot and then carried out demolition drive right from early this morning. We see scores of people who have gathered to try and take a close look on what exactly is happening there. Of course, uh, people of Assam now tensed if they, this could erupt in any kind of communal clash. These are the visuals that we bring to you live. Madrasa in Assam being demolished as the government suspects jihadi activity taking place inside. We spoke to the Minister of Assam who is... Uh, who's very clearly saying no tolerance, in fact zero tolerance to any jihadi element. And since they have a couple of madrasas under, under scanner, they believe these madrasas have been uh, radicalizing children, have links with some radical Islamists from Bangladesh, and these madrasas will see the same fate.
visuals on your screens here showing bulldozers at the Arifu Kuriya, uh, the Arifu Kuriana Madrasa. Uh, let me cut across to our correspondent, Afida Hussain from Guwahati. Afida, over to you. Quick word on what kind of jihadi activity was taking place at this madrasa? When did the government suspect that these children may have been uh, victims to radicalization? And, See, uh, and which are the other madrasas under scanner? Uh, in this eviction drive, you must have noticed that uh, this is not the first eviction drive which the, uh, some government is carrying out. There has been a uh, few more madrasas which has been demolished, starting with the Morigao, then Barbeta, and now uh, in the Gulf, uh, the Bumaigao district. So every day, eviction drive has, uh, has been carried out in Bumaigao Madrasa, uh, which was run allegedly by a member of Al-Qaeda. And uh, the eviction drive which was carried out in that particular madrasa after the arrest of uh, Mufti Hafizur Rahman, who was the teacher of that particular madrasa. And he was allegedly carrying out jihadi activities from the premises of this particular religious institution. Uh, so uh, there are uh, thousands of madrasas which are running in, uh, in Assam, uh, which is under a particular board. We, uh, we have India today has only broke that story. For, uh, firstly, but regarding these uh, jihadi activities and these things, uh, uh, according to some of the police uh, official sources, they are saying that there are certain madrasas which are under scanner having alleged links with the Al Qaeda and all, uh, and some terror outfits from the Bangladesh. So uh, in uh, in the last night, the Bumaigao ad administration has carried out this uh, particular eviction with the help of the local people. The eviction drive uh, um, uh, and uh, eviction drive has been carried out following the arrest of this particular teacher, Mufti Hafiz Rahman. And uh, the, uh, the eviction notice was dispatched by the Bumaigao administration after Gualpara police arrest uh, this Mufti and uh, the students of this mat uh, madrasa have already gone back to the residences and but 13 students from far off places spent uh, the night in one particular madrasa which is nearby to this um, uh, uh, this Markaz uh, Marif uh, Madrasa. Mm. Uh, there are eight excavators uh, who are running this eviction drive in uh, and yeah, this... Yeah. Uh, we, we're we're yeah, seeing yeah. the bulldozers in full swing. Uh, we believe all the children at that madrasa has They've been moved out to a different location safely, but at this point, Assam government saying zero, zero tolerance to any kind of radical activity. Madrasa in Assam has now been demolished as Assam government believes there's some connection with radical Islamists from Bangladesh. There was activity happening against the law.